Hi all, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Tech Techno, where we bring you quality tech content and make your life tech delicious. So guys, we have come up with yet another video where we'll be discussing answers for Essential Coding Virtual Program Part Two. So guys, if you have missed the latest video, please go and check out the answers of the latest video. The way we have discussed Part One and Part Two answers, and in this video, we are going to talk about Part Three and Part Four. So guys without further ado let's start this video Also guys if you have not subscribed to our channel till now please subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends so that they also do not miss any updates from our channel So talking about Forage Forage is an online resource which offers virtual experience programs designed by leading companies where you can develop your skills and gain a real understanding of different roles and industries by working through these self-paced modules with tasks that are similar to those you would undertake during a traditional internship So you will work through a series of resources and hypothetical tasks that are designed to simulate the sort of work you would undertake as an intern or a full-time employee at the organization It's a unique opportunity for you to try out a career at your own pace in your own time from the comfort of your home. So guys, let's start the video. So, you have landed to this website which is Forage website with the description to which you will get into the link description box and it takes around 5 to 6 hours to complete one program and you can complete as many programs as you like. All experiences are completely free of charge for any students or working professional. So programs include video instructions and real life examples from employee within your chosen organization the work that reflects real day to day tasks of interns and employee and curated resources to help you complete the task so here you can see the program that are free and you can complete at your own time so there are jp morgan clifford chain city bank and the accessible experience from top companies So virtual work experience program replicate work at top companies and connect students to the companies themselves. It's only 5 to 6 hours learn relevant tools and skill necessary to complete tasks that replicate an employee's work day. You can register for the forage and enroll in programs that help to explore the career option. You can view the video instructions from actual employees and access curated resources to help you learn the task. You can compare your work with the model answers from the company to earn a certificate. and you can add your certificate to your resume cv and linkedin upload your resume into the platform and get a chance to connect with the recruiters the virtual work experience programs contain real industry examples so once you are here log in and go to your dashboard and go back to the program that we were working earlier this is essential coding virtual program so we'll just click on continue with essential coding virtual program So once you are here you can see that we have already completed two tasks that is oops that is object oriented programming language and the code refactoring so these two tasks have been completed in the earlier video if you have not seen that video till now please go and watch the latest video and the progress will already be 50% so now you can go to the third task that is continuous integration So guys if you're liking this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends so that they also do not miss any updates from our channel so once you are here you can see that you have a task that is on jenkins jenkins is the most popular continuous integration server in the world and in this task you will be defining your build steps using the jenkins format you will run these steps using a jenkins cloud instance for github or simulating jenkins using jenkins runner action in a github workflow You need to create an account with GitHub and fork the mock company web app repository. You have to add the following stages to the Jenkins file and re relevant structures for these two areas. So you have to make this code which will be available on our GitHub link as well you can see in this video. So I'll just open the Jenkins file that we have created which has surpassed all the values of this program and had got a complete correct answer. So this is the Jenkins files that you can make on your uh, personal laptop desktop and submit it for the program to complete this certification. So once you're done just click on submit your work and you can just click on click here to submit your work and upload the workbook that is in a PDF format or just the Jenkins files. So I'll just click on upload and the file is uploaded. Once you're done just click on mark as complete and mark it as a complete file and you will get going with the ne next task. So it takes few minutes to take your document to be reviewed. So just click on continue the task once you get a congratulation message. 
So we'll move to the next task. That is the last task of this particular program. That is agile planning. So you have to give a certain PDF in which you have discussed the stories here. So while the client's e-commerce site has made lots of progress, it's still a way off from being ready to do business. So you have to plan a sprint to implement the checkout feature of the site. This will involve features like cart, payment and shipping. So given this broad feature, you have to work on next, create a document that defines around 10 to 20 stories around the checkout feature. So based on your capacity, you have to pull a subset of these stories to work on it in the next sprint. So help you get started, there's also a link that has been provided here so that you can work on the model answers. So please see the relevant PDF that we have made around you and you can get help and add anything that you wish to for your particular PDF that you create. So you can see that the first that we have added is as a shopper, you will need to able to find add items on your shopping cart to purchase them. And the item can be selected and added to the cart. So this is the acceptance criteria and the size is small. Then as a shopper, you need to be able to view the items in the shopping cart and decide if you want to purchase them. So at times there is this choice that whether you want to finally purchase them and just drop out of their cart. So this also needs an acceptance criteria. You also need to be able to change the quantity of the item in the shopping cart in case you have added too many or too few. So at a certain point of time, the item can be added to cart and then change the quantity of item when the cart is full or it needs to be reduced. So you can decide other stories according to your preference and choose the stories that you wish to be present in your particular PDF or Word document. As a shopper, you will also need to be able to enter the shipping address on the checkout page so the items will be sent to you. So during the checkout, the shopper can enter shipping address, the city, the zip code and other details. Also, you need to enter the credit card info on the page so that you can pay for the items. If not by credit card, it should be by Paytm, PayPal or any other debit card that needs the payment to be done. Also, you need to be able to configure the checkout to use the address for billing so that you don't have to address enter the address twice. So that is all the story requirements that you would require in this particular area. So please go through this video for all these use cases that are going being discussed here. Then we have as a shopper, you also need to be able to cancel the order while entering the information. So at any point of time, you feel that, you know, you need to cancel the order. You just can cancel and the acceptance rate is that you can cancel the order. Also, after entering the details, if you feel like the items purchased and their costs do not match and you want to cancel it accordingly, that can also be done using the acceptance criteria and you can add that into your user story. So these were some of the user stories that we have added from our side and you can add some more from your side. Also, you need to be able to go back to the checkout detail in case you have made a mistake. So in case you have not added the correct details or you have added any wrong product, you should be able to go back and return to the page. Also, you should review the checkout information in case you have made a mistake. So that are some of the stories and their acceptance criteria. You should also be able to provide an email address for order status notifications. So if you have buy it somewhere from Amazon, Flipkart, anywhere, you might have seen that, you know, you receive emails that your order is in transit. It is being delivered today. So that kind of checkout page, which provides you an email address where you can the notifications are sent should also be provided. Also, as an e-commerce website, you need to be able to send any customer when an order has been confirmed. So a text message or an email would greater be due. So guys, if you're liking this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. So just to mention that all these answers would be available on our GitHub channels with the link to which would be provided in our description box. So once you're done with all these stories, just click on submit the work, upload your document and just submit it. Scroll down and you can click on submit. So once you're done with this, this is so almost done from your side and see. Congratulations on completing the virtual task and you have done the entire task. So just give you a more about your certificate that will you will just download it within a few minutes. Just click on submit and download my certificate by leaving a review or star rating.
So guys, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they also do not miss any updates from our channel. Also, do not forget to mention any other video that you would like to see on our channel in our comments section. Thanks a lot for watching the video. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they also do not miss any updates from our channel.